Hello and welcome my friend, here is the car doctor Peter Finn. And next my friend, I am planning to show you really common issue in car or trucks engine and also any another engine what we can found. And why my car don't start or then starting is difficult. And especially if we think that we have checked all of these our engines areas and still engine don't start. Then it is good to check that what is our engine's timing belt or timing change these positions. That is our engine's timing belt in right position. And that's it is good to open this cylinder head cover bolts and then we can remove this cover what is normally aluminium and here we can see this one of these most common engines in world. This is Toyota's VVTI engine 1.8 liters. Very common in USA and Europe and in the world. This is gasoline engine and it is very common in like Toyota Corolla cars and in back area we can see the there is this Toyota Corolla car. And this part is in here. That one is this timing chain or belt. And in Toyota VVTI engines we have this timing chain. What is the best one? And only issue with uh, this timing chains is that this this little bit this little bit consumes this makes our engine to consume gasoline some percent more because timing chain is heavy. It is heavier than belt. But chain is always good if you have high quality car like Toyota cars. This is excellent. Because this Toyota's timing chain cost uh, last about 200 to 400,000 miles. This is extremely well made chain. But now we are thinking that why does my engine don't start? And that's we have to check that in some times this timing is wrong and this timing is really easy to install wrong so that when we do any engine repair or then we, if we have replaced timing belt or chain one of two teeth wrong and then engine it don't start. And next I will show you that how we can check this our engine's timing. And this is really easy and fast test for all cars. And the first step is that we have to take this cylinder head cover out, like I have already made, and then we need to take all of these spark plugs away. And I have also these holes in here, there are spark plugs, but now I have already removed all of those. And this is really spark plug and they belongs in here and now when I have removed these, all of these four if, if we have bigger engine we need to remove all of these spark plugs and this is only for that purpose that we can rotate this timing chain or belt easy way. And this rotation is possible to do with starter, starter is one thing, or then that if we have manual transmission that we install gear 3 and then we move our car in ground and then this timing chain moves in that way. And in my case, because this engine is away, I can move this my fly field. And now we can see that this our this uh, timing chain and belt moves. Excellent. This is really important that we can rotate this timing chain or belt. And then all of course and always this rotation is in that way. That in that area where we have these water pumps and alternator and 
this crankshaft puller wheel, this is like this end area of engines, and this is like end area's first level, this timing chain and belt, and then this one is cylinder one, piston one, and this is the measurement point, and then cylinder two, cylinder three, cylinder four, and so ex so more if we have bigger engines. And that's, we have to always rotate this engine in clockwise. Look that thing. Let's go to look. And now when I rotate that, we are so lucky that Toyota, they have installed in here even yellow plates, that they are those uh, Kaichen ideas. Kaichen is improvement idea that this yellow label goes to these uh, timing points. It is excellent Toyota's engineering. And these are all to make that when they assemble and repair, actually only that when they assemble in factories these engines, that those work workers installs, install these chains in right, in right position using these yellow markings. But now I rotate this my engine, because this is first step that I rotate that in this way, and always in clockwise. This is the rule one. And now when you are checking your engine, firstly you have to rotate that in some way. And do not ever rotate in using these areas, these bolts or nuts. Because these are very sensitive. Always in some big area, like in crankshaft puller. And let's go to look that closer. And this is crankshaft puller wheel, and we can also rotate this engine in that area. There is big bolt in here, and we can rotate this area. Crankshaft puller wheel bolt, what is now away, but normally it is in position, and we can rotate this engine in clockwise using that bolt. It is good hint also, but starter is also good. Okay, and then we go to point that how to check that my timing is okay. Let's go to look that up area next. Okay, and then when we are checking our engine's timing, there is three things what must match always. This is like in common engines. If we have similar engine like these Toyota engines are, that we go to cylinder one, and it is easy to understand. We only look that where is our timing belt or chain, like in my case, and then one level in here, and next hole, this is cylinder one. And in that area, now I have to check firstly that this crankshaft, uh, sorry, camshafts, what are these parts, what compress valves, that there are those Camshaft heads, what are these big shapes like pyramid, these little bit higher positions, that they are in up. And let's go to look that area next. And now we can see that this is cylinder one, and then idea is that both of these like exhaust and intake camshafts heads must be in like up position. And now we can see that this area is like very up, but this is not. This is like a little bit even down. And that's I have to rotate again. This is my timing chain. That both of those cams are like up. And then I rotate my engine. In that way. And now we can see that they are like boldly. They are a little bit more up than down. Look. This is like up in this direction, this is this head top point, and that one. And this is the target. Firstly, we have to install these both camshafts in up. And why this is so important thing? Because now when these points, these top points, they press down these valves in here, in this way. And then when they go up, valve is closed. And in that position, this engine is ready for take spark and spark plug fire and it is ready to explode this gasoline. 
And it is always important that in this timing, timing set position, both of these cams shaft heads are like off. Because when these heads are in up, then both valves are closed. And actually in that my case there is four valves, one and two in here and one in here. There is like four valves per piston head. And we can see in here these areas that there are those valve cups and below of these there are those valves. What opens this air and gasoline and exhaust movement inside in piston area. Okay, and this is first step, that we set up this camshaft and then we have to go to check that what is our piston's position. Because in that area, when camshaft heads are up, also piston must be in up. And let's go to do that next. Okay, and then when we are testing that how deep or up this our piston is, we need some tool that goes directly in this spark plug hole in inside and then when we do in that way, when we compress that down, we can hear this sound. And this sound comes from because my this screwdriver takes contact to piston. And then I have in here one example piston and now we are testing these that this piston moves up and down. And now I like to check that this my piston come up and then this my screwdriver takes contact. Listen. And then in here. Hey, quite similar sound. Can you hear? And that means that now this my piston is up and I can check this thing so that I rotate a little bit more this my timing belt or chain in that way. And now we can see that this my screwdriver goes down and that means that now piston is going down going down and it is bad. It is bad. It is not my idea. And we can see that piston and this my screwdriver goes down and we can listen even sound but when it, it goes even deeper in that way then I can't anymore listen this part takes contact in this area and now piston is too down and that's I have to little bit reverse this my chain in that way and in so up that this takes contact and this is like test and this checkpoint second number two that this our piston must be in up position and now we install this our chain so much that this piston is most up position and also the screwdriver goes the higher position the highest point the top then let's do that I rotate my engine okay now it is almost top in here in that position good and then I check that what is status of this my camshaft head and they are also up excellent now I know that I have two of these timing set positions okay in my engines engine is piston is up piston is up and then camshaft they camshaft heads in here they show up okay two of my list are okay and then final point is that we have to check that in what position is our crankshaft and let's go to look in here down in here down let's go to look in here and now we are looking in here down and here is the test and checkpoint third the third and last point what we have to check that if our car if it don't start then we have to check this timing mark because this is crankshaft position marker and in here these markings must match in here and let's go to look those 
Okay, and in here we have to see that there is a small dot in that wheel. And this dot, it must be in just same position like in Shiro in here. And let's go to look in that area that we can see this point. Okay, and now we can see that this dot is just in right position in here in this number 10 position in here. Excellent in that way. And now we can see that this third point is always also okay. And now I am meaning this white dot and then this zero in here. And that means that my crankshaft is in also in right position. And I am very happy because this last point is same like in these up positions in here. But I check that there are those cams, they are up in here, in that one, and then that one, and then also my piston is in up position. And then when it, we have made all of these three, one, two, three test points, we can be sure, sure that our timing is okay. And in that kind of information, my friend, and please, Use these informations and be positive and happy and see you in next movie. And thank you my friend for watching that video.